Hey guys, it's been a couple of years since I last uploaded a video to my channel. Thought it was about time to do so. Things have changed in my life a little bit. I now have a little girl, a daughter, uh, called Audrey. She's fantastic, but she does consume quite a bit of my time. Uh, I never actually got around to documenting the end of my Caterham build, which car is now sitting behind me. I've actually had it out on the road for the last two seasons and uh, I want to get into this a little bit more. So I want to start uploading a few more videos about the Caterham, about a few other projects I have on the go, including the scooter that you probably see behind me in the background. But let me show you the Caterham. We might as well give you a quick run through of uh, how it's been running. And uh, I do need to warm it up. It's the middle of winter right now, middle of January, and it's time to start the engine, get some juice into that battery and uh, let the fluid circulate through the engine so here you go actually also another quick thing uh, I'm in a different house so I was in a bit of an apartment before I utilized my dad's shop for a lot of my projects I'm now in a house uh, outside of Victoria BC uh, that has a, sh a garage or at least I opened up a garage space to the house and now I can do some of my projects here at the house which is fantastic and here's the car so it is uh, now obviously slightly different than it was before, all put together. Uh, the car is wrapped in a vinyl, it's kind of a Nardo gray, uh, painted fenders, converted to obviously the black LED headlights. Uh, I had to cut a hole in the bonnet, which I never documented, I don't believe, for intake on the opposite side. And uh, everything else is pretty well the same, though I did change over to some carbon rear protectors and uh, now I have a stroller there's a scooter project which I'm going to start documenting and uh, that is the car but I'm going to take the hood off and show you guys what the uh, engine installation now looks like uh, which it does look really good so I'm going to pop that all off and we'll get the car warmed up and out into the open air so as most of you know, we did the engine swap. So it is now a 2.3 liter Juratec. I call it Cosworth because it does have a lot of Cosworth componentry in it. Um, and uh, this is how it now sits in the engine. I'm not sure where I last left it off with you guys, but you can see I squeaked in, though it did dent just a little bit to make work. The dry sump tank, engine. We had some headers that are from a a CSR car, so a slightly wider chassis car, and so, or actually, yeah, I guess it is wider chassis. Uh, I did have to make those work just a little bit, um, so they stick out a little proud, and I may cut those back. And then everything else does seem to work pretty well. Um, I had to mill down the engine mouth just a smidge, and then create a hoop for the nose cone and fiberglass that in place to get the extra height accounted for in the uh, engine bay so that we're not rubbing on anything. Uh, Emerald DCU is the management system that I've incorporated into the engine and I uh, do have the Emerald harness hooked up to this. So everything is plugged in to the original dash. Uh, there is right there a um, toggle switch for maps uh, it's the white thing sticking out that I need to put the actual knob on. And then there's a few things I want to do this uh, winter, and that's just tidy things up, refresh it, uh, actually put a couple new engine mounts in, because the old ones were the original mounts and they are a little bit cracked, at least the rubber is. I haven't given it a good full detail, the engine either, and so that's needed. And. Um, that's basically it guys so the car now obviously is set and running really quite well I haven't had it to a dyno but this uh, spring is the plan uh, that is the plan to get it on the dyno and have it tuned properly well anyway I'm gonna roll it out of here and we'll start it up and let it run and get up to temperature
the rattle you hear is my battery. So there we go guys, first video in a little while. I'm uh, really quite excited to start this vlog up again. Um, logging obviously my exploits with this car and any other projects I have on the go. Uh, this little house that we're in, uh, we will actually be doing a project on that too and maybe I'll be documenting uh, the build that happens there. But uh, that is it for today. Thanks for watching guys. And if you do have any questions about a conversion of a 2.3 Juratec to uh, an old Series 3 Caterham, uh, let me know. I'll try and answer them. I'm not obviously an expert, but I will try my best to, to uh, troubleshoot or help you through those uh, quandaries you might have. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.